It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and this one features Josh Jacobs. He was unstoppable a week ago, a mountain of yards and a pair of touchdowns. It's the Texans and the Raiders, and it comes your way next. On a wonderful fall afternoon in the state of Texas, the roof is open, and we've got football from NRG Stadium in Houston. Today, we've got a Week 8 matchup on tap here, as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the Houston Texans. Hi again, everyone. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And, Charles, we look at this Texan ball club entering play here. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. On the other side of the field for the visiting Raiders, they come into this one off a bit of a clunker last time out, a loss that ended their five-game winning streak. And we are underway from NRG Stadium in Houston. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. And they will be led out by their 6-3 quarterback. And there's a word that constantly gets thrown around with this guy when you talk to anyone in the building. Potential. They are sky high on what they believe he can grow into in the role of a starting quarterback. In addition, there are plenty around the league who think that as well. And years from now, he can still be leading this offense out. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And this will be a game of five as he gets it to the 30. A check on Jacobs from a week ago. There was no answer for him defensively. Over 200 yards, two touchdowns to boot. And that was a fun film to watch because a few of those runs, it was apparent he was just not going to be denied. And his team is hoping that that carries over to this week as well. Now this one is tied in out on the right side. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. They get 14 on that one. Good for a Houston first down. And Stroud now to throw. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Keenan Allen, the intended receiver. And it's second down. And here, Charles, is a look at the inactive, some of the guys that are out today due to injury. Yeah, and this is where the preseason work comes into play for some of those backups. It's not just them getting some experience on the field, but preparing each week in practice as if they were going to play. And when you have guys like that on your team, you've got a chance for success when the injury bug hits. Here now a third down and eight. Stroud on third down now. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Barton I came into this game eager to see how they would hold up the man coverage. And on that play, they held up quite well. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. This is taken at about the 14. We we'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And out will come the offense as they take over. So here comes the Raider offense now onto the field. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. He had the numbers of a game last week that if you win, you talk about him being a gritty guy, managing the game, getting it done. But they lost. So obviously two interceptions, one touchdown pass. Touchdown, Las Vegas. 
Jonathan Taylor hitting double digits with his 10th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Raiders will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are, but this team is truly a threat to score on every snap, especially on the first few plays of any series. And a big strike like that, that only adds to their reputation as the league's best offense. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. On as the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. And throwing here to start to drive as they connect left side. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A well-executed 22-yard gain. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Stroud now on first and 10. And he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. Had an open man that time and ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. On second down, Jacobs. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Let's we'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Here's Stroud. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. The Texans send the punter out as he'll kick it away for the second time. Fielded just inside the 20. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And they will take over first and 10. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Second and six, just inside the 30. Looking to throw. Jones. Well, they're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So a P.I. call going to cost him there defensively. What did you see? Well, I think it's the right call, partner, because sometimes we'll see officials kind of let them play. But by the letter of the law, that's definitely a penalty. Looking high its way once again. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. The Raiders at 6-1 now through seven weeks of the season. And they come in off their very first loss of the season, suffered a week ago. So now we can all take that chasing the 1972 Dolphins and take it and throw it right out the window. Right? But let's face it, not many teams talk about that or even have interest in it. All they want to do right now is bounce back after that loss. 90 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Hyatt goes in motion left. Back to Taylor on first down. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Now they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, sit, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave it with a third and about three to go. Now Jones. And that is incomplete. Blocking in coverage by Houston. Makes it come down. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, but any means necessary on third down. He was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. Trying to punch it in with Taylor. 
And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. A gutsy call. Turns out to be a good one, though. First down on a pickup of 11. And the Raider first down. Back to throw. Jones toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Down here in the red zone, you know your tight end is going to be a favorite target. Good hang on. And sometimes they just have to get out of their own head because they understand how tight windows are there and how many bodies are there. And sometimes they just overthink it and don't catch the ball. He's down inside the 10 to the 8, and it comes on a game of 8. But when you go on the road, you're hoping to make plays that will take the crowd out of the game. I think that's a pretty good example right there. Yeah, a break like that never hurts, especially in the first quarter. Maybe help to set the tone a little bit. Could settle them down, get them into the game a little bit easier without that crowd really being against them. Now the throw in third down, knocked away and incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they let the throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short. But you got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. And the Raiders are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. He's been tough for this defense to handle, over 100 yards. You kind of knew that they were going to him on that play, didn't you? They certainly did. That's one of those situations where you simply say, my best runner over my best blockers, let's go ahead and pick it up. And I don't care if they know it on the other side. Here we come, and they got it done. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Looking to throw. Jones looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, certainly it appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. It's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. Touchdown, Raiders! A great effort there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Raiders have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. Another impressive drive, so they're two for two, two touchdowns. Charles, a great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words that's really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time. Between those touchdowns, defense held, forced a punt to get the ball back, and they played awfully well in this one. Both sides playing at optimum level. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. And the football going back over now to the Houston Texans. They find themselves in a good size hole here, and a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Stroud looking to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. You look at this Raiders defense. They come into this one ranked number 17, so just starting the bottom half of the league against the pass. When they lack in pass defense, they do make up for in run defense. They're a top 10 unit against some people trying to move the ball on the ground. But this is a passing league, so there's a conundrum for them. How do they get better defending the pass? Stroud. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. Well, based on what we've seen so far, I don't think you can even call this an off day anymore, partner, because this group we're watching, they are totally out of rhythm trying to get their game plan up and running. That zero on the scoreboard is glaring down at them with every incompletion. And take it right on the 30. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Raiders offense now making their way back out onto the field. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. 
Yeah, they're almost pushing him to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just now supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Straight ahead with Hubbard. Now he's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. They'll try and throw for it here. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Texans take over an excellent field position. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from Houston. It's the Texans in possession of the football. Second and 12. As they've got it as we resume action. On second down, it's Stroud. He finds his man complete. That shoots. And he gets us from inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. It's a gain of 35. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Second and 10, here's Stroud. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And the Texans are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. First and goal, and they got to be... into this football game. Jacobs, he is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. One more time with Jacobs. And now the whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Kenneth Murray coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it also brings up fourth. And his kick here is good get themselves on the board here at 14 to 3. So not exactly the response they were hoping for, but they'll take the three to at least get them on the score sheet. Yeah, now is not the time to panic. All is well. Somewhat calm. Only down 14 to nothing. So continue to play your game. Take the points when they're there. And put the emphasis on your defense to go out and get you the football back. Pass midfield. Look out. Still going past the 30. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown, Raiders. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Carlson now to add the extra point. And it's 21 to 3. And no doubt one of the most, if not the most exciting play we'll see in this game. The kick return all the way to the end zone for six points. 
So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. And we will not see an attempt to match that return touchdown as this will be a touchback and bring it out to the 25. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back onto the field. And this, let's face it, an important drive if they're going to get back into this ballgame. Think about going into the locker room down 21 to 10 as opposed to 21 to 3. 21 to 10, a little more optimism, a little more bounce around the locker room, a little more discussion about how they're going to finish this thing off. 21 to 3, I think discouragement clouds that locker room. Yeah, and I think a touchdown much bigger than a field goal on this drive just to get into the end zone and get that momentum. Stroud. And his throw's going to be incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing now is Stroud. Throws left side, complete to Keenan Allen. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. A gain of four brings up third and six. And this offense on third down today, not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This will be third and six. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. The Texans send the punter out as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. It's taken to the 26. So a change of possession here on the punt. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side, their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. I would say it probably be a good idea for him to reintroduce himself to his receivers at the half because they're definitely on different wavelengths. But I also don't advocate waiting that long. Next series, before you get out there. Hey, let's get together, guys. Let's get this thing moving. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. He'll look to set up his blockers. It'll go as a 42, make it a 43-yard punt. Six on the return. And the Texans will take over. On first down, here's Stroud. This will be complete to Mechie. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A pickup of 11 at a Texans first down. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills? And it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifting, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, and that led to a really nice game. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Back to throw, here's Stroud. He finds his target, it's Schultz. 
So eight yards on the completion there. And now one yard to go on third down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack go. blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. Oh, the motion comes too late. Now this is going to be a delay. Delay of game. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Bad time to get a delay of game penalty there. Not that there's a good time, but that makes it third and six. Stroud out of the gun here. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now, that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Ready, ready. And they'll go play action here with Stroud. And his throw is incomplete. Now a second and ten. The handoff, Jacobs running to the left. Able to slither by. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. When we pause for an injury here. It looks like it's, yeah, it's Keenan Allen who's in some pain down there. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. What we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 19 yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. Now Stroud. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. Back to the running game with Jacobs. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Josh Jacobs with career touchdown number 75. And the Texans get a bit closer. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need. To Three shots and going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And able to get this out to the 25. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Throwing Jones. Blitz coming, and down he goes. 
multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Well, a tough situation to overcome here. Third and 17. Back to throw. Jones. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. Well, we saw plenty of that during his much heralded college career. He parlayed that into becoming a first round selection. And now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears. And that's the sixth sense for knowing where the football is going. Just an excellent play there to create the turnover. The game clock sitting at 2.02, so they'll get one play before the two minute warning. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Here's second and 10. And Stroud now to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Stroud on third down now. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And that'll make this an eight-point game. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points. But that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say, we should have done better there. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes, get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball and leave the basket. On third down, here's a run by Hubbard. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. because a member of the Raiders shaken up on that one. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. This is fielded at the 27. It's a 42-yard punt, but eight on the return, and the Texans will take over with a first and 10. And now out comes Houston. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Again on second down, it's Stroud. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. It's hurry up mode time for the Texans hustling up to the line. He finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The throwing again is Stroud. That is caught. It's Xavier Hutchinson. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Another nice game. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. First and 10, it's Stroud. Got his man, Dell. 
Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Stroud looking to throw. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. And the Texans are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the run. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Here's Stroud. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that'll get the lead down to five. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? So we've reached halftime with the visiting Raiders out in front. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Hi again, everybody. Let's get you caught up with what's going on around the league here in the unofficial midway point, week eight of the NFL season. We'll begin with an interesting one in the AFC. The Chargers heading east to take on Cleveland, and it's the Browns who have the lead late in the first half. Nick Chubb has a touchdown run. From there, we head down to Tennessee to check on the Titans at home in Nashville. And they trail the visiting Chiefs in that one. Patrick Mahomes has thrown a touchdown pass. Lastly, let's get you to MetLife Stadium to see what's happening with the Giants at home in East Rutherford. And you can see they trail the visiting Cowboys. The Cowboys still in a dogfight, but this would be a good victory for them if they could get it. We saw former rushing champ Jonathan Taylor be a big-time factor in that first half. He's already over 100 yards rushing for the game and has a touchdown run as well. These two clubs running through their final halftime adjustments. It's just about time to get back at it. And for the call of the second half, we go back out to Houston, H-Town, and Brandon Gaughan. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. The Raiders with the lead already, and they will get the football here as the second half is now underway. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Raider offense ready to go here to start the third quarter. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead. Now a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, and believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game as a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it, and in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. That to the sideline and incomplete. Boy, they're going to say there's a receiver in the area. That was close to grounding, but it's second down. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And even 150 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Now Jones. And this one is incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Throwing again, Jones. Here's Tucker, complete on the right side. And a crossover out of bounds right at the 25. 
Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. From the gun, it's Taylor. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Looking to throw. Jones. Hyatt has got it. Touchdown. Jalen Hyatt, 27 yards, as his guys are able to extend their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Carlson on for the PAT. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was Jalen Hyatt with a touchdown catch to end the drive. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Here's the Texans offense now, reading for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. Second and 10, here's Stroud. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hoping they can come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. Stroud to throw it. That one too wide and incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Call it 46 yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. The Raiders offense ready to go. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's. The big fella on the move past the 40. Big strides. Look at him go. And that's a touchdown. But hold on. There is a flag down on the field. We'll have to see what this is about. That's interference. Defense. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Carlson now to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. They certainly made quick work of that, ultra quick work. One of the fastest drives you'll ever see. Just one play resulting in the touchdown. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. And the Texans. On the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. On second down, it's Stroud. A short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. 
15 yards, the Texans pick up the first down. Throwing now is Stroud. That's caught again by Schultz. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 36. Again, it's Stroud. Throw left side complete. That's Schultz. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. From the 31, here's second and four. And movement here by one of the Texans up front. In comes the flag. They expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. The false start hurts him there a bit. Backs him up to second and nine. Now a give to Jacobs running right. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. From the gun on third down, here's Stroud. And down he goes, brought down a Raider sack. Max Crosby racking up sack number 12 for him on the year. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. The Texans send the punter out as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. Here comes Jonathan Taylor and his teammates. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're back, because that means everything's coming together for you. Big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably gotten some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. Second down and six now. And he'll go again here with Hubbard. And not a whole lot to speak of there as he'll bring him down shy of the 20. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Operating from the gun, Jones. That is caught. He's going to have the first down and then some. Inside the 10, and he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Jalen Hyatt with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And the Raiders get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that will bump the lead up to 26. On is the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. And here comes the Texans now. 
Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. We just saw another example of really good defensive football, which has led to the cushion that they have in this game. Got to him once again, knocked him on the ground, forced an incompletion. Yeah, they've set the tone. It's one thing to set the tone, another to come in here on the road and set the tone. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. The Texans send the punter out as he's on here to punt it away. Fielded just inside the 30. 42-yard punt, six on the return. And it'll be Raiders football first and 10. Here comes Jonathan Taylor and his teammates. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone. And now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage. And again, that second score here in the third quarter. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. They go to the ground again with Taylor. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Back-to-back -back four yard runs. Now look, if they just do that all the way down, field ball ends up in the end zone, but that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think now third and two, that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. They give him five yards there, and it's enough for the first. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. A short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. On second down, it's Taylor. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Back to throw. Jones. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. A time called here because a member of the Texans is in some discomfort. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Taylor. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. You know, when this offense gets down here near the end zone, they're going to turn to their bell cow, and this guy's been a touchdown machine all year. Excellent job stopping him there on first down. On second and goal, Jones. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Jalen Hyatt, a dynamo since the break. Three third quarter touchdowns. And the Raiders will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. Carlson on for the PAT. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. So that drive takes him down the field in eight play. It was Jalen Hyatt with a touchdown catch to end the drive. On is the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Houston set to take over. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? 
I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outline. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. Back now in Houston. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Second down, Jacobs once more. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. 53 yards on the ground for him so far. The Texans on third down. They've converted just twice and have had plenty of opportunities. This is third and four. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. A uh, short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. And oh, he's just going to be short here. Barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Ready, ready. They go with Jacobs, and this is going to be nowhere close. Needed some inches and ended up losing yardage. The Texans tried it, but they come up empty here on fourth, and it'll be a turnover on downs. First and 10, Taylor now. And not much running room, down to the 32. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Brings up second and nine. At the line. Looking to throw. Jones. This is complete. Finds his man, Hearns. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man in the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. You name it, from route running to catching the football. That's why he's able to produce those types of numbers. Yeah, boy, now you see him, now you don't. Excellent move, nice run, winds up getting about six. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely, pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Third and three. Operating from the gun, Jones. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by the former first rounder, Jimmy Ward. Don't you go into your shell and just run the football? I think you have to, but you also have to tell your backs, make sure you're really protecting the football because you're going to run into a stacked defensive front, which is why they were throwing the football before, trying to make sure they didn't get their backs, you know, really beat up in that situation. Now, good luck to them. Extra point right down the middle, and that trims the lead a bit, but still standing at 26 points. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Now the Raiders offense, they get set to head back on the field. Been a very strong performance for them, really on both sides of the football. The turnover on downs, the most recent example, and now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, give him a little dap. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless, take care of the ball on the way out. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Brings up second and 11. Line. Off play action. Jones. He's going to air one out. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Partner, you and I have struggled with this for years. You've got the lead. Just take care of the football and burn some of that clock. But there's something to be said for not taking your foot off the gas as well because you can never have too big of a cushion. That one, though, falls incomplete. 
Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for Vegas. And we'll see what he can do on the return. A good kick that time, but also a pretty good 15-yard return. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Texans getting set here to take over again on offense. We're facing a big fourth quarter deficit here. Things not looking good. You know, this offense, though, they've been in the top half of the NFL so far this season. But in this one, where well, their defense has really struggled. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Stroud. And the Raiders have got it. Tyree Wilson credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. How to approach this. Third down and 16 yards to go. Stroud here on third and long. A lot of pressure. That forced the errant pass. He's been under duress this entire afternoon. He just had to unload that when he's fortunate it was just incomplete and not intercepted. Fourth down, fourth quarter. Here's Stroud. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. The Texans tried it, but they come up empty here on fourth. And that will force a turnover on downs. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he'll take this down to the 33. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Throwing Jones. A short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. Try to punch it in with Taylor. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Again, it's Taylor. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And all the way down inside the five to the four. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. Cut. 
They'll run here with Taylor. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal, and then one play later, he's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is I'm not sure who made the play call, but they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice hard-charging run, give it right back to him and let him cap things off. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. Oh, this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. No run. Down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Out comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory, but it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side of this one. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Stroud now on second down. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. Now Stroud. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Patrick Queen. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. CD, this defense, I mean, at this rate, they're just having fun out there right now. And normally with this type of a lead, if you're a starter on defense, you're saying, hey, let the other guys play. But with this going on, no one wants to come out of the game. They all want their shot and pick it off the pass. And a very elusive run as he'll wind up getting about nine on that one. It's a game of nine. second and a yard. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for Las Vegas, the victory moves them to 7-1 and one on the year. And they'll have another road date next week with the Kansas City Chiefs. Meanwhile, for Houston, they fall a game under the 500 mark at 3-4 and four through seven games. And they'll look to get back on track next week as they travel to Denver to take on the Broncos. I'm